They're located in Los Angeles, Monterey Park, and this place specializes in Chinese hot pot. You can also get really spicy Szechuan numbing hot pot here. So that's what we're gonna try, along with some 24 karat fish balls. So let's come on in. know a special promotion uni boil is currently having if you buy any of the hot pots you can get a drink for 99 cents 1.99 and 2.99 the drink for 99 cents is actually refillable so come check out uni boil right away to take advantage of this amazing promotion check out all this food ah! I'm gonna try first the popcorn chicken now we're currently waiting for the hot pots to heat up. Mm. I love Chinese popcorn chicken. It's so good. Every time I go to boba shops, I always get these. I'm not sure what sauce this is. It's like a creamy white sauce. Hmm. It's kind of sweet. Why does this remind me of marshmallow? <laughs> it's kind of tastes like a salty marshmallow sauce. Oh. Mm. I love eating these too. Oh. This sauce is actually very good. It's very unique. I've never had a sauce like this. It is slightly sweet. It literally reminds me of a sweet marshmallow salty sauce. I'm not playing, but it's so good. It works really well with this popcorn chicken. Mm -hmm. Next thing we have, these are 24 karat gold fish balls. Have you seen something like this before? Because I have it. This is awesome. So if you're ever feeling real extra one day, you want some fish balls, you know, might as well put some gold on it. Let's give it a try. There's a slight spice in this fish bowl. It's actually really, really good. Wow. And it kind of almost has like a slight curry taste. I'm not sure if it's my taste buds, but I taste like a slight spicy curry with a fish bowl. It's really good. Wow. No. I'm a fan of this. I'm a fan. Hmm. Way to chase it down it's with this fruit tea. Mm. 
It's so refreshing. It's not too sweet. Usually when I get teas, fruit teas from like Bullet stores, they make it too sweet. I always have to do like 50% sugar, but this is not too sweet. Like I'm honestly, I'm digging this a lot. Mm. I'm gonna try the broth first. So this one's booty jige. I taste kimchi, of course. There's a slight spice. It's nothing overwhelming, but there is spice. But I love eating spicy stuff, so. Oh yeah, this is a good broth. It's not too salty either. Like It's not one of those broths where you drink, you're like, ah, I need some water. Mm. And over here, we have the Sichuan numbing soup. Hopefully it's not too spicy because I like spicy, but I can't handle it if it's like numbing spicy. Oh. Mm. Okay, <laughs> we got recommended this soup and they were right. This one's good. This one's good too, but I like this one a little bit. <laughs> My boyfriend's looking at me like, but well, that's my pot. <laughs> he always ends up ordering the better food and I always want his food over mine. Maybe I have poor decisions in food. Wait, no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't. And it's not numbing at all. I don't know. Like this is definitely very manageable. If you do want it spicier, I'm sure you can make it spicier, add some chilies. Hmm. Yeah, this is good. You really taste the fragrance of the peppers. Mm. It's not too salty either. Wow, I'm a fan. Mm. Okay, guys. the hot pot is now ready. I'm excited to try it. Look at that cheese pull. Oh yeah. Mm. I love eating ramen and hot pot, so this makes me really happy. <laughs> Cheese is so good. Mm. Mm. Oh, hot pot is seriously God sent. It just seeds your soul. Let's see one of these fish cakes. This is one of my favorites when I eat hot pot. I don't know what kind of fish cake this is, but it's my favorite. I just recognize it by how it looks. Oh, I love the broth in this so much. It's so easy. Smell this artificial crab. Get some rice in there. Oh, wow. This rice is actually really good. There's like seasoning in here. That that was a surprise. Mm. There's some type of seasoning in this rice. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm a fan. Finally starting to cool down in the Los Angeles area. Still kind of hot some days, but it's definitely going down from the summer, so 
honestly the perfect time for hot pot. I love eating hot pot in the fall and the winter. But I'll still eat it in the summer because that's how much I love hot pot. Ooh, they have some sausages. Oh yeah. I'm a big sausage fan, so this makes me so happy. Ooh. How would this compare to traditional curry booty jjigae? It's not the same. This reminds me more of, you know, Chinese hot pot came together and made a booty jjigae, which is what it is. Still very good and you get that hot, that Chinese hot pot taste. So if you're craving that and some booty jjigae, this is a really great mixture. Mm. Oh wow, there was an egg in here. I didn't even know there was an egg in here. This is the egg. If I knew there was an egg in here, I would have taken this out because I really love to put the egg yolk in my rice. I'm still gonna do that right now actually. So this is the egg yolk that I was able to salvage. Oh put that in the rice mix it up if you have not tried this before like egg yolk not completely raw but just cook it a little bit while it's still runny you put it in the rice it's really good it's my favorite thing to do let's eat it with some kimchi now it's not booty jjigae unless you eat some kimchi actually the first time I ate kimchi in like a month and a half. Feels really nice to finally be able to eat kimchi. Mm. Mm. Spam. Oh. oh yeah, when I said spam my boyfriend looked, I know he wants to look my spam. <laughs> oh no, that one fell. Actually, I think this is more of ham. Is it ham or spam? No, it's spam. Mm hmm, mm hmm, y'all. Tasty. this and there's more uh, taro milk tea if I want to add some so let's try this first this looks like it's boba mm. it's like a jelly boba Or milk tea is really good. Mm. Let's try this. This looks like it is a mochi. Mm. Oh. That is a mochi for sure. Oh, this is my favorite. It's grass chili. Mm. I love grass chili. If you've never tried grass chili before, you need to try it. It doesn't really have much taste, honestly. It's more like a bland jelly, but it tastes really good if you put it 
in like a milk tea or this in this case it's a taro milk tea. Mm. This looks like it is um, some type of jelly. It jiggles. It's like a mango jelly. Mm. Let's try to add some of these in there. This one looks like it's um, some chocolate powder. Put some sprinkles in there. Ooh, that looks so pretty. <laughs> some marshmallows. This is now a magical party. Wow. <laughs> So we have some Oreo powder, it's actually Oreo. Some sprinkles and some marshmallows. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. So if you want to add sweetness to this, it's actually not very sweet. It's perfect for me because I'm not too crazy about sweets. If you want to add sweetness, definitely the marshmallows. That really gives it a, a nice kick of sweet. Sprinkles makes it crunchy and sweet. The Oreo gives it some flavor too. It's actually a pretty interesting combination. Mm. I think my favorite, and this is probably the mochi. I actually really like the mochi in here. Mm. Tastes really good with the marshmallows. Boba is also nice because who doesn't like boba? My boyfriend really loves this. I've actually been eating this for the past 10 minutes. <laughs> 